Shalom. Welcome. One day closer to the kingdom. Right? I'm in my bag right now. Yeah. Original King James 1611 Bible that has the Apocrypha in it. You know, a lot of people will be tripping about us going to the Apocrypha. They don't believe it's, you know, canon, but. The original King James Bible. Most of you have a revived version of the Bible anyway. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's really a revived version. You know, so, understand this. It's very important that we as a people, we look at this and, you know, we dive, gotta really dissect the things that will help us to come closer to the Most High and the Mashiach Yahweh Shine. That's what's important. We put all this evil away and all the things that we are, uh, as a people, the Bible, of course, more closer to the Bible than the Asher and Enoch. Yeah. Really <laughs> most High allowed you to be there. So the Most High have his hand in it. Right. Huh. You know what I mean? He have his hand in it. Make sure that wherever it is that we have in these last days, We'd be able to come to the knowledge and understanding of the truth. You know what I mean? That's like canceling him out. Like, he didn't have nothing to do with Man has more power. Right, right, That's what right. I said last night. You know, how is it that man wrote the New Testament? You got brothers that don't believe in the New Testament. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They don't believe it because they don't know it. They don't really know it. So what man now can write a book that can compare to the New Testament coinciding with the Old Testament? Because they didn't have a New Testament mm -hmm. when the Mashiach Yahushai walked the earth. They didn't have a book of... Corinthians and so forth, because Paul hadn't made his mission. He hadn't even been converted. You see what I'm saying? So all that didn't even happen until he had ascended to the right hand side of the Most High. So a lot of books that we look in there, they didn't have, most certainly they didn't have a New Testament. Or the books of the New Testament to go by to be able to say, okay, well, because it was like privilege. Even we know that in his story. You know, we, he even tell that in his story. You know what I mean? That the average person didn't have the Bible. Only the elite had the, the scrolls of the Bible anyway. You know what I mean? So it's, it's, it's to be really out there when you think about it. Let's look at... Uh, let's go into... Uh, Because really, in essence, man, a lot of things brothers have not even tapped into when you look at, uh, like, the mound builders. The Wachita built the mound, you know, mound builders. You know, most brothers don't know anything about that. They were the Israelites that <coughs> owned the Louisiana Purchase. All the way from the Gulf of Mexico, Gulf of, you know, Mexico, all the way to Canada, all those states, you know, we own. We don't know anything about that. We don't know anything about setting up the 13 colonies. You know, brother spend so much, too much time dissecting another brother or whatever they're doing, and you have all these wicked preachers and wicked teachers and the ones that pro, have programmed our people's minds to have them dishonoring the Sabbath. And if, even if they say it's on Sunday, they still dishonor it. You know what I mean? So this is what we subject to. Let's go into a little uh, history of uh, see it about Colossians 3 and 17. Colossians chapter 3, verse 17. And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all. Bahashimamashikabashai, 
giving thanks to Yahweh by Hashem, my Sheikh Right, so all that we say and do today is going to, uh, man, we got something. That's what we're going to conversation between Christ and the Nic Nicodemus, right? Right, right. Right, okay. Well, you're the priest and you're asking me that? You don't know how to be born again? No, I'm, ask, I'm asking you, your, I want to know how you would teach how to be born again. Well, you have to, you have to, the Bible says for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. What's sin? Okay, for all have sinned. Right, what's sin? Well, we, we have sinned from uh, when a what's man... What's the definition of sin? Well, transgression. Transgression, transgression of what? Huh? Transgression of what? We say transgression of what? The, the we Bible have sin. We all first, have sin. God. First John three and four. Uh -huh. Because I asked you, what, what's well, the definition all, of sin? Uh -huh. Because you say we all have sin and come short of well, the glory of the Most the High. World, that, that, that is the word. You ain't going out to the world. Okay, okay. what does it you say though? If you go in Romans and it tells you. First John. Listen, listen. Because uh -huh. you John. say we all have sin. So what's uh -huh. sin? Listen. First John three and four. Yeah, really. Whosoever committed sin uh -huh. transgressed also the law. Uh -huh. For sin is a, is the transgression of the law. So right. sin is the transgression of the law, right? right? Uh -huh. So are we under the law or we're not under the law? No, we're under grace. We're under grace, but we're not under the law. So by, no. But you oh, just said sin, so sin, the definition of sin. Come on, you all are, you all are ministers. You all are ministers. Uh, did you hear what it just said? Yes. Listen, what, sin is uh -huh. the transgression of the law. Uh -huh. So how are we not under the law if you say we sin? Well, we all for all have sinned. That means you're breaking short. the Most High's laws. He gave us laws, set the commandments. Uh -huh. Right? You're all a priest. Okay? Yes, I'm a priest. That's, why, a that's priest. why I'm asking okay. you a question. So you're preaching the gospel? Yes. Okay. Wonderful. So what? Listen. You ask me, okay. You ask me, how should you be born again? Have you been born again? Yes. Of the water and of the spirit? Yes. Okay? Yes. All right? So what, what, what again you want to know? How you I, I just want to know how, how you okay. would say it's supposed to be done. Or how, how Just it as is. the word say, you can't take off from so, the water. You so can't far, actually, right? I know, but so far, actually, what sin? The definition of sin. Uh huh. And I just gave you the definition of sin. Right. You agree with that? Yes, yes. Sin okay. is the transgression of the of Most High's laws. Right. Yes. Right. Uh -huh. So you say we're, we're not, not under, under the law. law. We are under grace because because who's, who's all right, not the law under the law. The law huh? Who's not under the law? Who's not under the law? The Gentiles. What about the Jews? Are they under the law? No, the, the, the Jews, okay, was under the law. When, was when under God the law. was under the law, when, when God hand, hand the, um, the law to Moses, right? Okay, but as Jesus came, we are not now under the law. So he, he, he just annulled the law? Huh? He just, Jesus no, came no, and just annulled the law? No, 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 he came to fulfill the law. Uh-uh, no, 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 no. So he, he fulfilled he, the law for the people yes. that was the law was given to right. The children of Israel. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's what he came to do, fulfill the law. The law is not exempt. You're not exempt away from the law. He came to fulfill the law. So okay. you you can. I mean, you can steal. 
You can, that's the law. That's the Ten Commandments. That's the law. You can commit adultery. It's okay. You can murder. That's the law. That's the law. So when you say you're not under the law, what law you're not under? Because I'm, I'm, I'm giving you the law. You're saying that you he came to fulfill the law. Right, he can't fulfill the law. But how did he fulfill the law if we? Under grace, grace means you control the law. I say, but you fulfill the law. Right, but what you want you to understand it. I'm giving you scenarios that you're contradicting yourself when you say we're not under the law, but under grace. This is because you're saying we cannot. The law says you cannot steal. Right. Said we, we cannot steal. Divorce, we cannot steal. We cannot kill. We cannot commit adultery. Right. Right. You know, you can't covet your neighbors, yeah. anything that your neighbors have. Right. Yeah. So we can do those things, or we can't do those things. No, no, we can't do those things. Right. So how do you fulfill that when we still people are still doing those things now? That go to church, that say they're under grace. Oh, what they still do it. They still doing those things. A whole lot of adultery in the church. Right. A lot of adultery is going on in the church. Right. right. So that's sin. Yeah, that is sin. So we are under we are in the law of, of the Most High, because yeah. that's sin, which is the transgression of the law. Right, yeah, so true. Uh -huh. So you can't just eliminate the fact that we're not under the law when you're sitting here saying that you can't do these things that the law says. No, we can't. Right, so we're still under those laws. We still have to follow the Most High's law. He didn't, he didn't give us, he gave us 613 laws. He didn't give us moral laws, civil laws, dietary laws, ceremonial laws, and sacrificial laws to say that they're null and void. He didn't work. He didn't work hard like that and just say, "Okay, well now you have to worry about following me." That's no, laws. The laws. It was, when you agree that the laws are uh, rules and regulations. The laws are rules and regulations. Rules and regulations. Yes, 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 so don't we have rules and regulations in this kingdom? Yes. Oh, but you. Yes. But you. Okay. I'll tell my son call on. Okay. Five seventeen. This is where we go all the time. <laughs> <laughs> John chapter 3, okay, the Gospel of John, okay. right, where we say, you must be, you ask me, right, you ask me, um, how can you be born again, you all know, you, you, you mentioned when Nicodemus came to Jesus, okay, by night, mm -hmm. I didn't have my glasses, okay, yes, right. right, yeah, there was a man of the Pharisee, he came to Jesus, okay, Named Nicodemus, the ruler of the Jews, the same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, you take this one on this one for me. Okay, yeah, he said, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God, for no man can do this miracle that thou does it, except God be with him. Jesus answered and said unto him, Very, very, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. The four goes saying, Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter into his mother's womb? Can he born. enter into the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of the water and of the spirit, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Amen? This is, and, and this is what it explained there about being born again, born of the water and of the spirit. My brothers, I know you all are deep in the world. I am a sinner saved by grace. That's right. We are sinners, all sinners saved by grace. I have a testimony. Okay, and as I come here, I'm led by the Spirit of God to, to minister. It's one, I could only minister when he, he comes upon me, when the Spirit allows me to speak. And then, Before I don't chase okay, him. I was born of the water and of the Spirit. And I'm a, I am a living testimony of this word. Okay, I know you all are priests, and I see you all have all of the whatever. 
Okay. You no, know, we're, uh, mm -hmm. we're we represent the children of Israel, who the Bible is. This is our book. Oh, the children of Israel. Yeah, we are all the children. We no, are all. not everybody's not the children of Israel. Well, do you know what John said? Okay. You know what? No, because what does John say? We are his creation. Are, are we not? Are we not his creation? We are his creation, but we read Matthew but fifteen twenty four. That's what Christ Matthew, said. This what Christ said is out of his own mouth. Matthew. Matthew fifteen twenty four. Matthew chapter fifteen verse twenty four. Because we both believe in Christ. Let's see what he said. Oh yeah. But he answered and said. I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Mm -hmm. He wasn't sent to the Gentiles. The other nations, he said, he said so he's he only sent, sent to the lost sheep of lost Israel. Sheep or, the chief or, the, or the house of Israel. The family who live in the house, the family of Israel. The family of Israel. That's why he came out of the tribe of Judah. Uh huh. He came for the Israel. So tell me, he was, he, 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 the, 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 he is the creator of the universe. God, Jesus is God in the flesh. We're not the most high. We're not the most high. Read us. John 14, 28. John 14. John 14. Verse 28. But well, see, you understand. We're looking at the word God, but that was added into the Bible. This is what it says. St. John this chapter 14 said. and verse 28. Ye have heard how I said unto you, I go away and come again unto you. He's going to go away, send to the right hand side of the most high, and come back. Read. If ye loved me, ye would rejoice, because I said, I go unto the Father. He go where? Unto the he Father. Go to the Father, read. For my Father is greater than I. Right. So that's two different entities. The Father is greater than I. John 17. Yeah. So it's not two different entities. Yeah. And the agreement. The agreement. He's, the word. He's the word of the Father. St. John, chapter 17, verse 5. And now, O oh Father. He's talking to his yeah. father. Glorify not himself. Not himself. Yeah. Oh no, Father. Glorify not himself. Me. Glorify thou me yeah, with, the with thine own self. Yeah, with thy own with self. the glory which I had with thee before the world was. The thee, he's talking to his father. He's not talking to himself. You hear what he said? Yeah. He said, Father, glorify. Revelation 3, 5, 14. Because you understand. He's praying to the Most High. He's praying to yes, the Father, like just like He told he us to that's pray, our came, Father. That's why He came pointing us to the Father. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah. But He's not the Father. Listen, what listen to this. Revelation three fourteen. Revelation chapter three verse fourteen, and unto the angel of the church of the Laodiceans write, mm -hmm. these things said the Amen. Who is Christ? Me. Here it is. The faithful and true witness, the beginning of creation of God. That's who he is. And once the most I created him, Ephesians 3, 3 and 9. Listen at this. I mean, it's, it's clear to me. Ephesians 3 and 9. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 9. And make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery. This is something that's not known. This is something, a mystery of something that's not known. Read. Which from the beginning from of when? the world, the from beginning. When? From the beginning of when? Of the world. Of the world, read. Had been hid in God. In the most high. Been hid in the heavenly father, read. Who created all things. By Jesus Christ. That's what it says. So okay. that's two different he create, entities. He created all things by through Jesus Christ. But you know he always was pointing us to the Father. Right. Okay. Right. And what did they say in John in John um, one and fourteen? Right? Tell us in John one and one, in the beginning was the word. And the word was of God, and the word was God. Yeah, right. But that's you have to understand what it's saying here, because if you if you read John one and one as it's written, right? Mm -hmm. Does this make sense? Read read it as it's written. Okay. Then we don't read it where it's supposed to be read. Read. First John chapter one verse one. In the beginning was the word, uh -huh. and the word was with God, mm -hmm. and the word was God. Read. Yes. The same was in the beginning with God. Uh -huh. now how could the same be in the, in the beginning with God? The same that's was two different entities. Beginning. That's two different issues. They put God there. That's confusing. Because understand this. God really in essence is a, they, they, this revived version that we both read. This is the original here. King James 1611 Bible. Which Protestants took out the, prop, the apocrypha. You know. But it was, it's in here. The original King James Bible. Now you have revived version. Now they putting God in there. What's God? Dog spelled backwards. So really in essence we, if we read it the way it's supposed to be read it would be in the beginning was the word and the word was with the most high and the word was Hamashiach Yahweh we say Hamashiach Yahweh the anointed savior 
we don't say Jesus Christ because the J was invented in 1630 AD. You see what I'm saying? So they even added that, and when they when they when they said Jesus Christ, they painted this man. Represent, they represent that to this day. To this day, you know what I mean? Right, but I'm just saying, but I'm just saying as far as the average religious, you know, set, they that's what they have, that's what has happened, you know what I mean? So, right, right. So when you look at say the same was in the beginning with the most high, so that same is who? The same is not the most high. The same was that's in the past, in the beginning with the Most High. Was with the beginning with God. Yeah, that's that's Christ. He was in the beginning with the Most High. They're not the same. Oh, they're not the same. They're but not I the can't, same. I cannot. I you, cannot. You know I mean? um, but they do agree. Okay. He do agree. You say they are one, just like just like if you go to uh, John 17 to tell you about the one. You know, you talk about John 10 and 30. I and my Father are but, one, but right? 14 said, and the Word was made flesh. Right. To dwell among us and we behold his glory. Right. The glory of, right. you hear what it says? Mm -hmm. Behold the glory. The glory as of the only begotten of the Father. Right. Full of grace and truth. We just read that in Revelation 3 14. Okay. He's the beginning of the creation of the Most High. Heavenly Father, right? Yes. Okay. So that is why, no. You see, and the word was made flesh. Yes. Right. Revelation. Revelation. Eleven. But anyway, brother, he's, I he's would the word. Love. He is the word. Listen, yes. he's the he's, he is the word. When you look at Revelation uh, uh, nineteen, is it nineteen? Eleven. Uh, read verse. What John, what John, 1913. What, 1913 Revelation chapter 19 verse 13. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood. This is Christ. Mm -hmm. This is Christ. When he come back, because you start at 11, he's coming back. He's coming back to judge and make war. Yes, he's coming right? back. He's coming back to judge and make war. He's coming back. He's right? coming back. He's coming back to judge well, and make war. Know, you, yes, you accept that? As he was clothed, yes. But well, let us know that. You know what? What? Um, John 4 and 24 say. God is a spirit. Yes. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Right. That's the Holy Spirit. Yes. Right? And the truth, right? The Holy Spirit, yes. What's the truth? The truth. It's I the am truth. the way, the truth, and the life. Well, we got to know what he's saying there. Mm -hmm. But understand, get, get a, what's the truth? Read that. Psalm chapter 119, verse 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. It's forever and ever. Me. And thy law is the truth. See, the law is the truth. So when you understand what Christ is saying in, in St. John 14, 6, that's what he's saying. 